Hi classmates and welcome back to your English classroom. Okay, so what are we going to be doing in today's class? Well, in today's class we're going to be looking at basic English grammar. We're going to be looking at those verbs of possession like have, had and has. Have being the present form of the verb, had being the past form of have and has being the third person form of have. So, before we get started guys, help us get to that 1000 subscriptions mark. You know what you have to do. Hit that subscribe button and let's get this moving. All right, so the first verb, had. Now, with had, there are certain pronouns that go specifically or specially with had. And they are I, you, we, they, he, she, and it. And they always go together. But don't forget, we've also got have. And have is the present simple form of the verb, or that's what it's used. And I've put some examples below. I have a new laptop, you have something in your hair, we have an extremely difficult day, doctors have a difficult job. But also have is used with the present perfect tense. So make sure you get your pens out, get your notepads out and make sure you write down this formula. You've got subject plus have has plus past participle. And past participle is simply the past form of the verb which is used specifically for present perfect. So, to add to that fluency, I've given you a few examples. I've got, we've got, she's got. And to complete these examples, we've got, I've got a new laptop, we've got an exam next week, and she's got a good grade. Okay, so we've also got has. Now, has is used for the third person form of the verb. And I'll give you some examples. He has a nice car. The car has a scratch on it. It has a stain on the collar, splat. <laughs> okay, so what else can we talk about? Well, we can also look at some ways of increasing that fluency. He's got, it's got, he's got a nice car. It's got a scratch on it. So you use that to increase your fluency. But be careful, guys. There's questions and negative contractions which you need to use properly. And they are, I have not got... I haven't. He does not have. He doesn't. So remember that. Does she have a lesson now? Who has my pen? And has anyone seen my phone? So make sure you practice those. And guys, don't forget to subscribe.